Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. It's Carpo. I have, um, I had a uh, point that I wanted to use to illustrate, um, or I'd rather say I have a story that I'd like to use to illustrate a point about misunderstandings of people. And I've spoke about this in the past, how you misinterpret things. Someone once said words are like, you know, can be like knives and, um, I guess I could extend that to say knives could spread butter or stab wounds and uh, it's really hard for us to text one another and see what we're coming through with and how we're coming across and this is what um, this is what happened my mom was going to watch the kids or she she said she would watch my kids on New Year's Eve so my, my wife and I could uh, do something fun we don't really do anything we're just gonna stay and hang out party whatever um, so we said maybe we'll get back to you. It was kind of a busy week. And um, she had been texting my wife and I, you know, whatever, separately. So my wife said, I don't know, we'll see. And um, then she kind of left it to me. And I texted my mom and I said, well, I'll see what's up. Texted her New Year's Day. I said, hey, or New Year's Eve. I said, how's it going? She said, fine. Didn't say anything about the kids, so I assumed she had changed her mind. Now let me explain a little bit about this. She didn't want to, she has a, a bad hip, you know, and she didn't want to have to deal with both of the kids. But then she changed her mind later and said, well, I can do that. I'll watch both the kids, no problem. So I was under this impression that she was reluctant to do it. And that she hadn't mentioned the kids when I called her because she just didn't want to deal with it. Or when I texted her. She was under the impression that I hadn't mentioned the kids because we didn't want to leave them with her because we didn't want to have them babysat. And um, this, about two days later, you know, two days after New Year's, uh, we were having a conversation. And somehow I got her to say that she was... She was really upset, you know, all night on New Year's Eve because she really wanted to watch the kids. And I said, well, guess what? So we, we weren't upset, but we would have really loved you to be watching the kids. After we had this conversation and realized, I realized what she was stewing in was an unreal situation that was created by a misinterpretation of a text message and a lack of communication. And, uh, <laughs> you know... How rarely do we actually confront these issues with the people that we have the miscommunication with? Like if you have an online, a brief online encounter and someone's being an asshole, you're not likely to go back and reconcile that. You're just gonna say, fuck, this guy's a dick, you know? And you might misinterpret everything they're saying. I've had a couple comments on my videos where I felt like um, they were attacking me and um, I come to find out that they're not at all. Sorry, I got something in my eye. Um, and that's, I think that's just how it is, and this is why I hate text messaging, this is why I hate um, typing, this is why I don't like blogs, this is why I never use computers for for, for um, uh, getting into chat rooms. I've only been in like one chat room in my life, or one or two I think. Uh, the Kratom Forum, so I could check out for Kratom, and um, the Woodworking Forum, because I'm a carpenter. And uh, other than that I stay out of there because I know how things were always misinterpreted. The reason why I decided YouTube was worth it is because I could express myself. You can see my eyes. You can see where I'm coming from. And my words come out a lot better than if I try to type them. Which is why I don't type very long responses to people because I'm not a very fast typist. But I'm a fast talker. <laughs> um, so, just wanted to point that out. Just to realize that two people can suffer because of one miscommunication. Both of them thinking that the other party is holding them back somehow. And I think that this has gone on with major cultures throughout history. And this has caused a lot of turmoil and wars with people who don't want to discuss the issue at hand, you know, face to face. And this is why we have this is why we have politicians to help discuss, hopefully discuss things between each other for the people, because it's kinda of like a you can't have a conversation between societies. It's not very easy. Without a representative. So um <clears throat> just some thoughts on that and uh, make sure you specify what you mean you know be clear in your intentions especially when you're sending text messages or typing so <laughs> peace everybody